Hey, everybody. Hey, Happy New Year. Hey. Here we are with our goal. Hey. Hello, everyone. How are y'all this Romeo Wednesday? Hope you have your craft journals. Hey, y'all, Wanda. Hey, Carla and Kawanda and Elena and Crystal and Tamika and SJ and Lucille and Jesse and Lolo and Martin and Dolores, everyone. Hey, everybody. So this is the goal. Hopefully you have a craft journal. You started one. You're going to start one. Hey, Maxwell. Hey, LaShonda. I think your sponsor's a, he hears me. He's about to do what he does. Hey, Tracy. Hey, Michelle. Hey, everyone. So today is a Romeo day. It's Romeo Wednesday. Hey, 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 Eve. Look, Eve is ready to do what? Learn. Hey, Mary. And Daisy. Mary, Mary is an Eagles fan. I remember that. Hey, Charlotte. Patrice, you didn't get fired yet. Hey, Martha. Hey, thank y'all so much for being here. So uh, you may notice that I did something a little bit different with um, G-H-B-T-G-T-M. Hey, I like that name. Okay, Mary, you driving? Hey, Jen. You need to take it out of the plastic. Hey, Gina. Tracy Hay from Scotland. What time is it in Scotland? That's awesome. You're a Saints fan? Who that? Okay. I don't really have a football team like that. I like the Rockets. I'm a Rockets girl. So, yes, please remember to like the video. Y'all, that video yesterday, y'all, like, you did your big one, right? Y'all, like, really viewed the video. But the likes are not matching up. So, I don't know if y'all are, like, watching on a TV and you really can't like it from a TV, but you need to like it from your phone and then go back to the TV. Okay, hey Terry, hey Donzel and Tracy and AB and Valerie and Miss C and Janice. Hey everybody, thank y'all so much for being here. This is the goal. 11 o'clock at night, be a night owl, stay up, we need you. Hey Sharon. Okay, so this is what we're doing. I'm wearing this one because I made this shirt with my Cricut and oftentimes when I'm doing a Caesar Romeo tutorial, People will, the first thing most people will say is, can you do this with a cricket? And the answer is yes, you can. And yes, I have. Um, I listed, um, I included the link to the cricket tutorial below this video. Okay. Thank you. The one thing different about doing this process with a Romeo is that you can do it bigger. Okay. So, that's one added benefit. People have asked me too, like, you know, do you like Romeo better than Cricut? I think both of them have their benefits. I know Cricut Design Space a lot better than Romeo. Like, I, I feel like I really know it, know it. And I'm still learning the Leonardo software, okay? All right. So this is the shirt that I did because I do now, let me also give you this disclaimer. There are people who do not like live crafting tutorials. They don't want to laugh. They don't want to chit chat. They don't want to be welcome. They want to get in. Look, Kiki. Hey, they want to get in and get out. They don't want to, I don't need all that, right? There are those people. And if that's you, go ahead and like the video and then click out. <laughs> but don't forget to like the video before you click out, okay? So let me say that. Sometimes my live crafting tutorials take a while. And I don't, I have not figured out a way to condense it. Um, I haven't figured out a way to condense it. I try to, I think it's because I'm trying so hard to go step by step and like show you everything. And I don't know how to not do that. I don't know how to, I don't know how to do it. So thank you, Island girl. <laughs> I 
I don't know how to do that. So if it bothers you that, you know, it's going slow or is, you know, step by step, there is an already a record tutorial on this process. They don't like the flow and, and that's fine. Okay. So when I made this shirt, I did this with my Romeo and there is a recorded tutorial that is below the video. So you don't have to watch all of this because I'm going to interact. I'm going to answer questions that I see that are related to this. Um, and I might say something sarcastic. It's, it's, it's me again, Delonda. <laughs> so that's that. So you, you know, you have options, but don't forget to like the video either way. <laughs> Whether you like it or not, like it. Okay? You freeze me. Well, tell your mom I love her too. Thank you, Judy. Isn't yeah, it is my channel. So I just want y'all to know that this might take a while. Okay. So let me explain something else. I <laughs> I go back and I watch the I watch the video over again. And that in in that way, I can see like what questions I missed or what I, you know, what was said that I may have, you know, not seen during the live because I try to be in touch or be in tune or whatever, right? And um, I miss a lot of questions. Hey, Monique, y'all here for it? Come on, okay. Um, I think the checklist was helpful last night. And I think that um, y'all appreciated the checklist. Um, what I need y'all to help do is if somebody asks, like, where is the file or what, you know, what is you talking about? Like, just say it. I want y'all to just say, hey, if all of the links are below the video, I don't want my moderators to spend their time sharing links. Okay. Because that really defeats the purpose of me taking the time beforehand to put the links below the video. Right? The moderators could be helping with other stuff. Right? Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. A lot of people are like, oh, where, where'd you get your heat press? Or what table is that? Um, you know, what what shirt is that? All of that stuff is below the video and it doesn't make sense to, to take up time to do that. Okay. So y'all can help out. Y'all can help me by saying, oh, the links are below the video. And we don't have to like link them to death. Like we don't have to say it's below the video. She already said it. We don't have to keep saying it. If one person says it, that's plenty. All right. And you're going to hear background noise because my husband is downstairs cooking. And I'm just going to say, don't worry about it. Okay? Because don't worry about it. We're going to eat over here. Okay? We're going to eat. And I don't like to cook. The people who are in my Facebook group know I don't like to cook. Okay? So we're already off track. All right? So we're doing this. I made this with my Romeo. If you're not into long lives or whatever, this tutorial is linked below the video. This one right here is also sublimation. This is sublimation on glitter vinyl. So it's the same photo and everything. But under this, um, the image, there is a layer. You can see how, see how shiny it is. There is a layer of glitter vinyl. Okay. Now, my goal really, I'm just telling you, my goal for this tutorial right here is, hey, Dems. My goal for this tutorial is just to demonstrate how to sublimate, just regular, regular sublimation, basic sublimation, not, not anything extra. However, if we don't go too far, if we don't take up too much time, I will demonstrate how to do it using Easy Subly. I've already done a tutorial using Easy Subly, so I might not need to do it again. Like you might just be like, okay, Delonda, that's it, I'm good. But <laughs> if you just want to stay on and we'll do it, that's fine. I'm fine with that. Okay. Okay. So let me show you one thing under the video and then we're going to get started. All right. Now, 
I, here's another thing I noticed. Let me find my phone so I can show you what I noticed what my moderator did yesterday. I'm going to show you what they did. I'm going to show you what they did. <laughs> I'm going to show you what they did. Can y'all see this? Thank you, Jean. Y'all see that? Those are my moderators asking y'all yesterday, how you feeling? Y'all all right? That's what we call doing the most. <laughs> so I took that to say, I'm asking y'all too much. Are you okay? How you feel? Like I do ask you, I do ask you that. I know I do. <laughs> and I'm not trying to be funny, but that's my way of checking to see how y'all feeling because I don't want you to get overwhelmed. So if I ask it too much, you can just say, okay, Delanda, we're good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So I, I put them on blast and their pay is getting cut. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Rhonda. I just want y'all to know that I, I caught it. I caught them. I, I screenshotted that thing and texted them. I said, what's this? You on your Erica Badu era? What we doing? Y'all all right? <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, I, look, I checked them. I go back and look at all the chat that I missed, okay? So the, I, I wanted them to know that I saw it, okay? The pay is getting cut. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> nah, you and your Erica Badu era. Uh-huh. I already know. You and your Badu era. That's all right. I got you. I got your number and I will call it. I'm coming with the screenshot. <laughs> I'm coming with the screenshot. It's going to be a what? Screenshot. Uh, there are some I would, I would, I would, okay. There are some I would sell and some that I, you know, it depends. The ones that I've done so far, I would say yes, because they've washed well. All right. But I would say like, before you decide to do that, like make one and then wash it a few times for yourself. Okay. And then check. All right, so I'm going to share my screen and show you something because I did something a little bit different, but I'm still going to baby you like I did yesterday because I babied y'all yesterday. I gave y'all a whole bunch of Similac. Y'all had a full portion of Similac yesterday, okay? All right, let me go and share my screen. Go to the window. Go to the... All right. So right here, right, this is my YouTube channel, right? This is this is my channel. And, and I don't know if y'all are aware of this, but like, I, I guess it's important. My name is always uh, misspelled to demands. It's so weird, but it's, I know. All right, so right here, these tabs, like here's the home, you know, the home page here, the videos, shorts, live, playlist, community. Like check my community tab because I do post things there all the time. So I post, I post plenty of things in the community tab. Like if there's a good sale going on, I'll post it in my community tab. Um, any updates or anything like that, I post it in my community tab. Okay, so pay attention to what's in the community tab. Um, I do post some shorts too, but these, this is the live tab. I want to show you what I did for today. And then I'm going to give you more Similac like I gave you yesterday. But then y'all going to be responsible for yourself for the rest. All right, so right here, 
this video right here where it says sublimation with Romeo, that's where we are right now, right? Where this is the video that you're actually watching right now. And then right here, it says there are 188 watching. So when I click on this video, I hope I see 188 likes. I'm going, let me check my 188 likes. Let me see. Let me just check. Let me check my 100. Okay. All right. Let me check. Let's see how many likes. Oh, 133. <laughs> okay. So anyway, this is the video, right? You can see y'all like this is the live chat, right? And whenever you're watching a video, did y'all know you can always go back and see the live chat? I think that's important to know also. Like you can always see what people said and all the questions they asked and things like that. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Hey, Marshall. Okay. So if I scroll down, right, I'm going to see 195 watching. I still see 133 likes. I'm going to have to maybe refresh. All right. So I'm scrolling down. Now, today, I did not give you that checklist like I gave you yesterday. But what, let me, sh not yet. Not yet. But I want you to see this one that I did put here. This one right here is the easy subly checklist because what I really want you to do is start to make your own checklist. Remember, because I said I want you to have a craft journal. I want you to have a craft journal. And this is my way of weaning you off the Similac so you can start getting some solid food. Okay. So here's the checklist. If I click right here and it's not signing up, you're not signing up for my email or anything like that. It's just a blank checklist. This is just blank. So you can start to fill it in if we get to that. Okay. Thank you, Karen. Hey, Marta. Hey, Stacy. Okay. So this is, this will help some people. Some people will love this. Some people will like not use it. And um, let me see how I can say this. <laughs> You're not going to hurt my feelings if you don't use it. But if you haven't started your craft journal yet, you might consider using this and writing down the steps if we get to the easy subly. Okay. Hey, Elevate Artistry 412. Okay, good, Judy. All right. You know I'm getting ready to ask how you feel. <laughs> I can't help it. How are y'all feeling about that? Okay, so now I said at the end, we might get to easy subly. I'm not sure that we will, but um, you'll have that just in case. I'm not because I'm, I cannot give you a checklist every time, right? That's really going to be on you as a crafter. Now, remember one thing I said last night at the end of the live was that I wanted you to, I want you to, when you're watching a crafter, and I'm only speak, speaking specifically of crafters. Now, I'm subscribed to other channels that of people who are not crafters, but when I'm looking at a crafter, I'm watching a process I am thinking about how I'm going to do that process for what I'm trying to do, right? So when you're watching me do these photos to letters, you're thinking about the image you have in mind, the photo you have in mind, the word you have in mind. So if I use the word love and you're not planning to use the word love, you're thinking about, I got to find the perfect photo to fit into my word, okay? All right. Okay, so now I'm going to give you the Similac because I have it ready for you already. And it is going to require you to opt into my email. Now, subscribing to my email, I don't think, I'm just, this is my opinion. Um, I don't send out a lot of emails. I really don't. I don't send out a lot of emails. And when I do, I feel like it's something important. Like today, I sent out an email to about, Hmm, 300 people to invite them to uh, to a Zoom with me for making a craft journal. 
And I only send it to a few people because I know a lot of people are not going to want to do that. And they'll say, oh, I want to do it. I want to do it. And then they'll sign up and then they really won't show up. I send it to the people who I know will probably show up. Okay. I just want to tell you that. All right. So I'm getting ready to give you the link to the real thing. Okay. Let me give you that right now. So I'm just going to put it in the chat and I'm going to share it below the video. All right. One second, one second. Make sure it's the right one. Ah, uh, yes, let me go back. Hmm. All right. Is this one right here? Okay, so when you click on that link, that should prompt you to sign up for my email, but then it'll also give you the checklist for what we're doing today, this one. And this one is longer. Okay. Give me a thumbs up once you get it. Apple, you got it? Okay, cool. You are. Okay, perfect. So this checklist is what we're doing today. And if someone joins and they say, where did you get that checklist? Y'all are going to help me by saying, what are you going to say? under the video that's it and we're going to get started y'all i have not um eaten today but I, but as soon as this is over it's it's going down you understand me it is going down all right let me go ahead and leave it there all right so now let's get started so we are number one so elevate if you already signed up for my email and I, I I've already answered this yesterday maybe you weren't there but if you already signed up for my email list it's not going to make you sign up again but if you want this document you still have to go through and fill out that form again okay So this is just for this, this for today. All right, so we're on number one, gather the materials, polyester fabric. For this, I'm using a shirt. I'm using a Cricut shirt. I like the Cricut shirts. I'm using a Cricut men's large shirt. All right, uh, sublimation printer. I'm going to be using my Epson EcoTank 2760 um, sublimation ink. The ink that I use is Hippo Sublimation Ink. This one right here, you can use whatever ink you have. This process requires sublimation. This process requires sublimation. You can do this with um, like Caesar Easy Color DTV, but I'm not demonstrating that today. I'm demonstrating sublimation, okay? So everything we're going to do requires sublimation products okay all right so we need a uh, sublimation paper the paper i like is a sub um probably going to use this one but i also have 
uh, this one just in case my image is a little bit bigger. Okay. So I like both of these. I like all sizes of Asa, I'm no lie, but you can use the kind you like. I'm, for my heat source, I'm using the um, auto open wallet press that I got from uh, Heat Transfer Warehouse. Butcher paper, I get my butcher paper from Sam's Club. I usually get it. It, it won't, baby Jean. Um, if um, I get my butcher paper from Sam's Club, but I also left a link below to the butcher paper that I like on Amazon that comes in a box with the like with the that you can tear out. Okay, hey Jennifer. So you need butcher paper and you need heat resistant tape. I like the Cricut brand, but you can get the brown kind or whatever kind you like. I just like this kind. Thank you, Texas Brown Eyes. I love that name. Are my eyes brown? No, probably not. You need to make them browner or something. All right. So I like the Cricut brand of heat resistant tape. I don't like the brown kind. Some people do. I, I just don't. OK, because I feel like I've never had any problems with um, residue with the blue one. I also like the PYD Life tape. OK. All right. So I can can I check off number one? Hey, Paulette. All right. I want to check off number one. All right. All right, number two is choose the photo you're planning to use. And I suggest using landscape photos. And what do I mean by landscape? So like when I'm holding my paper in this direction right here, this is portrait mode. But when I turn it like this, it's landscape mode. So I am, in my opinion, landscape photos work best for this kind of project um, because I think I don't know. I just think it's a little different when the, the if the photo was going up and down like that. Regina, it is this Sunday at three o'clock. Um, are you in my Facebook group? Okay, so I always like, so like, even if you look at this, this photo of me and my daughters or my daughters and I, you can see that it's landscape, right? If I would have used this in portrait mode, it just would have kind of been weird, but kind of think about what photo you want to use and, um, you know, go through your photos and find one that is, you know, is big enough to show everyone's face. Like you can see all of our faces in this photo. Okay. That's so I suggest that I already have the photo in mind that I'm planning to use. All right. So number three is open Leonardo design studio. That's what I'm getting ready to do. All right. How y'all feel? Let me open Leonardo design studio. Thank you. Takes the brown eyes. Okay. All right. We good. Okay. So even with this, the shirts that I just showed you, I don't even know where I put them just that quick. Maybe back here. Oh, the, this shirt right here, this is just one picture. Um, and if you're asking or wondering like, oh, can you use multiple photos? I haven't tried that, but I, mean, I guess you could. Okay, so this is like, this is just one picture and I just stretched it across the letters. Okay, that's what that is. All right. All right, let's go into uh, Leonardo Design Studio. All right, okay. Uh, let's go back. Let's close this out, if we do. And we'll go to her. And let's go to her. Mm. Sometimes it won't let me, it won't. Sometimes it won't let me share Leonardo Design Studio unless I share a full screen, which is so weird. 
Okay, Elevate. I have to see how many people have signed up already because Zoom limits the number of participants and I don't want to have too many people that I can't manage it. Okay, and let me, this is the last thing I'm going to say about the Zoom because we're going to stay focused on this, but this will not be a um, view. Like we're not in there to view me, watch one. Every If you're in there on that Zoom, you'll be make, you'll be required to make one or be blocked and be blissed. Okay. <laughs> I just want to say that. All right. Okay. I'm sorry, but we're not, we're not, because you can just watch a YouTube video, right? My goal is for those, that group of people to finish that Zoom with a craft journal. All right. Okay. All right. So we're in Leonardo Design Studio. I am using the pro version. They have a lot of specials going on right now. So um, they even have a special going on that if you sign up for Creative Fabrica and you have a Caesar Romeo, that Creative Fabrica will reimburse you for your membership. Um, and I don't know all the details about it. Like I will not be able to um, explain it well. Like, I'll just jack it all up. So I'm done if you want to try to explain it. Um, and, but I just want you to know they have a special going on right now with, they have a, like a cooperation with Creative Fabrica. All right. So we're in Leonardo Design Studio and let's look. All right. So I'm checking off number three. I'm going to go to the text option down here at the bottom. See where I am at the bottom? The T for text, T for text. for text Bueller. Okay. All right. Boss fancy. So what I suggest here, hey Wanda. What I suggest here is um, choosing a font that is big and bold. Now, what I like about um, Leonardo Design Studio is that when you open this, the, the text option, you can see all of the different fonts that you already have access to. I love that. And so you can kind of just type the text and then you can play around with it and see which one you like the best. Okay. All right. So earlier today, when I was playing around with this, I did um, the word family and I used the ask why font. And this is how it came out. It was OK, but I feel like um, I needed something bigger and more a little more bold or I could have probably just like put the letters closer together. So I wasn't really I didn't really love it. OK. All right. So, but in here, you know, you can kind of like play around with it and see what fonts you have. One font that I like is one that's called um, Impact. I also like Bouncy. Bouncy is one that came from thefont.com. So like, let's just say I type the word love. I'll go with the word love again. And I'm using this with the caps lock on okay so you are in my facebook group regina okay so send me a reminder that you are requesting that all right l-o-v-e so i like this i think this will look nice like if i wanted to use this um and i do have the i think i do have it on bold i have it in bold and i have it on auto weld okay bye sharon okay see that so the font that I'm using right here is called Bouncy. I kind of like the way that looks, but I can check other fonts. Another one is uh, Impact. So let's see how Impact looks. Uh, so this is what, oh, let me turn on my caps lock. Hold on. I thought I had it on. So that's what impact looks like. Thank you, Regina. I, feel, I appreciate that. All right. So here is what impact looks like. So far, I think I'm liking bouncy. 
Um, but the thing about it is in Leonardo Design Studio, the more you click, you know, as you click down, you can see what your word will look like in all the different font options. The goal is to find something big because you're going to be adding your photo to that and you want the, the faces to be seen. Okay, that makes sense. So like here, keep on trucking. Um, this one's called Lakeside. I don't think that's big enough. Made Tommy is another big, bold font. I think that's what I used on this was made Tommy. Okay. But I think for now, I'm going to go with um, bouncy. I think I like bouncy. I think it looks really, really good. It kind of, you know, kind of quirky. I like it. I didn't even realize I would like it that much, but I do. And I got that one from Defont, D A F O N T dot com. Okay, so I'm going to click apply. Hey, Mary. Okay, so now I'm on. So I've done number four, which was select the text and turn on the caps lock. Choose a big, bold font and type the words you're planning to use. I did that. That was number five. Number six is to resize the text. You like keep on trucking dumps? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with bouncy this time. Okay, so now I'm resizing it. And I'm making it, you know, as big as I want it to be. One thing I love about Leonardo Design Studio is that it really doesn't limit you. Like, it's so good, right? Okay, so I like this. And if I look at it right now, this is at 9.696 by 3.399, okay? And the color of it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter right now. Uh, but I could change it to, you know, black if I wanted to, like right down here in the bottom right. If I wanted to change this to black, I could, I could change it to whatever color I want it to be. All right. So we got that. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I think I'm going to absolutely love this. Oh my gosh. Now, you know, and I know that if we were using a cricket we would be limited right we wouldn't be able to make a, a a size this big just like on regular paper right we do know that okay okay we do know that all right so i've done that i've resized the text so i can cross off number six now let me stop sharing for one second You have to get bouncy. Oh my gosh, I'm loving bouncy. Okay, so I've already done six things and I know that's a lot. I just want to know how y'all feel. <laughs> I just want to know how you feel. I just want to know. I just want to know. Um, and I'm not going to keep asking, but I do want to know. Feeling good, okay. Hey, son, you're not late, okay. Hey, bunny, go on. All right, everybody, good. So now I'm following the I'm following the list. I'm just following the list. The list is below the video, okay. I'm following the list. All right, okay. I'm going back in. All right, present, share screen, entire screen, share. We back in that thing, okay. All right, we're good. Okay, so I have the font. Now I'm going to bring in the photo that I'm planning to use. I'm using one of the new photos from um, our family photo shoot from this year. Y'all want to say hi to Milo? Let me say hi to Milo right quick. Let me let y'all say hi to Milo right quick. Let me say hi to the people. Let me say hi to the people. Do you want to say hi to the people? Say hi to the people. Hey. No. You don't, Regina. Say, turn this way. You want to say hi to the people? Do you want to say hi? They can still see your face even if you turn it. Say hi to the people. Say hi to the people. You don't want to? You don't want them to know you can talk? Because they're trying to put you in a circus? You don't want to be in a circus? Okay. All right. 
You can go back downstairs and be super, super good. Super, super good. Go be super good. I'm GG. I'm GG. Okay. All right, we're going back. All right, going back, going back, going back, going back, going back, going back, going back. All right. Sure, sure. Okay, hide. All right, so I'm going to bring in a photo that um, from our family photos from this rec from recently. So I'm going to go to open. Remember, I'm looking for a photo that's landscape. So I'm going to go to my documents and I'm going to family photos 2023. So here is one that um, we took that's close up. Now, when I bring the photo in, because I'm on number seven, could you use, okay, I'm on number seven, what am I supposed to do? Bring the photo in as a background image. Now, typically, if I was not making this, changing this to letters, I would just bring this in as a print and cut image. But since I want to change this to letters, I have to bring this in as a background image. Okay. So I'm going to click on background image and I'm going to go to next. Now you can see my photo is much bigger than the letters. It's bigger than everything, right? And what I'm going to do is just resize the photo, right? And just bring it down. And then on the paper, it says, click on the layers panel and bring the text to the front of the image. Okay. So I'm going to, Click on the layers panel right here in the bottom right. And I'm going to select the text and I'm going to make sure the text is in front of the photo. I'm making sure the text is in front of the photo. So I want to right click on this and go to order and bring to front. Okay. I'm going to make my screen back bigger so you can see it. Okay. So the text is in front of the photo. Now I have to adjust the photo so that I can see everybody's face in these letters. And this actually, I don't know if it's gonna work because my son is so tall, right? You can see how tall he is. And if I were to try to use it like this, he his whole head will be cut out. <laughs> that V. <laughs> his head will be cut out of the V, but we're gonna try to make it work. Let's see. So right now I'm just positioning. Okay, it looks good almost. Bring it down. Oh, but see right here, this E is cut off. See how that E is, this, this E is cut off of the photo over here. So I got to be careful about that. Let me see if I can make it a little bit bigger. So this part, you know, takes some maneuvering. Let me just make the maybe the text smaller. I think I have everybody's face. I think I have everyone's face in the photo, in the letters, except like right here, I can just see a little piece of uh, Morgan's head and I can see Peter's glasses, but that's his fault. I blame him. Okay. All right. So now I can cross off number seven. I can cross off number eight or check it off. I can check off number nine. Now I'm on number 10 and it says select the photo and the text and select the intersect option at the bottom of the screen. So right here, I have to select everything, the text, which is the L-O-V-E plus the photo and I'm going to go down here to this option right here where these like two squares are connected, this, this right here. And if, if I go to the one, two, three, fourth option, that option is intersect. And if I click intersect, it's gonna change it. Changed my, it changed everything to just letters. 
Okay, morning tea break. Tanya, where you live? Or is it Tanya or Tanya? Okay. So I have everybody in there. I think this looks great. This looks, I think it looks great. Okay. We following? Okay. So now, all right. So I'm going to go right here. Select the photo. I did that. So now, even though on number 10, I've already done that. Before I get to number 11, um, I'm not sure if intersect is an option in the basic edition. That's a great question. This question right here. I'm not, that is a fantastic question. And uh, the answer is, I'm not sure if it can be done with the basic edition. Okay. Regina, I think the only important thing to know about moving from Cricut to, to Romeo, I think you're going to like, love the Romeo, but you know, there is a learning curve with the software. There's a learning curve with the software. Okay. So just keep that in mind because I was frustrated in the beginning. I'm not going to make it seem like, oh, it was so easy to learn. It wasn't. I didn't feel like it was. All right. That's why I committed myself to every Wednesday to help people not feel what I felt. Okay. All right. So we're here, but right here, I can see that I'm outside of the the allowable space, right? And so what I would do is I would go over here to this right here, the top right where it said, see where I, right here where it says page marks, I would click that and I would just kind of make sure that I'm in the, within the page marks. You'll know that you're outside of the page marks if the lines, the registration lines are red. See what I'm saying? You're still learning, LaShonda? Yeah, I don't want you to be in that frustrated stage, Judy. I felt that way. Yes. Yeah, and I don't know if they moved it. I know he said they were going to move Slice, but this is a little bit different. Okay. All right. So I think this is great. I think this is great. All right. Now. If I wanted to just go with it just like this and I'm ready to, you know, get it put on my shirt, I could. But I am going to stop sharing and show you something really quick. I like to have an outline around mine. So I don't know if you can tell, but in this shirt, there is a green outline around my letters. And the reason I use green was because... We were like wearing green in the photo. In this one right here, I did a red outline around it, right? And if you look at the one that I just did, there is no outline yet. And I like to have that. I don't know why I just do. Okay. You can see it. So if when you're making yours, if you get to that point where I just got to and you don't want to have an outline, you can just click send design and you, you, you will be ready to go. But I added an outline around mine. Okay. And I'm going to show you how to add an outline. All right. Okay. Let's go back. Yeah, I like the outline. Um, go back to the share screen. Cricket won't let you be right. Cricket, sometimes I did this. I did do this with the cricket, but I had to do it in two parts. So when you see the cricket tutorial, the L and the O are connected, and then the O and the V and the E are connected. I didn't have to. I didn't have to do that here. Okay. All right. It's personal preference. Exactly, Barb. Exactly. All right. So I'm right here. I'm back where I was. And what I want to do is click on the photo. I'm going to go down here to build contours. Okay. So right here at the bottom, you'll see a star and it's outlined by a star. You're fine, Victoria's Creations. Okay. You're going to see a star outlined by a star. And 
right here, you can see like what it looks like. What I'm going to do is go down here and go to editable contour. Editable contours is going to help me get that outline the way I want it, right? So I'm on number 11. I'm on number 11, right? It says click build contours, select editable contours, change the outline and the size to your liking. So right here, I'm going to change this. I'm going to include the holes, right? Because if I don't, you see that this, the in the center of the O is filled in and I don't want that to be filled in. I want it to be like an open space. So I'm going to select include holes. See that, you see the, what, what just happened right there? Y'all see what just happened right there? Yes. Okay. Jesse said, Jesse, you always follow them right there along with me. Okay. Perfect. So I like it like that. I don't want that to be filled in and I'm going to start to like add an offset and you, you'll be able, let me change the color of the offset. Let's go to like uh, blue or something. Let's go down here to like blue so you can see it. All right. So watch what happens. You're going to be able to see. You're going to be able to see the offset. See what's happening? Do y'all see that offset? Okay. So right here, this is where you would change it to whatever you want it to be. Now, our my family, we wore like, you know, tan and brown. I don't think I want a tan or a brown offset. Um, probably do black. Okay, I'm going to go with black for this. All right. And so you see how I, Carol Riley, thank, where's Carol Riley? Carol Riley, thank you. Thank you, Carol Riley. Okay. All right. So I'm going to change right here the contour color. I want to just change it to black. Just go back up here and I can change it to black. Okay. <laughs> All right, and then now this offset is uh, is thick. The thick, 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 thick. I don't want it that thick. Uh, it, it don't have to be that thick. I'm good on not being that thick, right? I don't want it. it's too thick. <laughs> yeah, you clicked the wrong one, J Bear. All right, so I'm going to bring that offset down. I like. I think on that one, that the other one that says family, I use an offset of 35. Okay. So you can, that's, this is, this part right here is going to be a matter of personal preference, right? So I'm going to bring mine down to 35 because I don't really need it to be that thick or you can bring it to, you know, whatever you want it to be. And then after you have that, you click apply. Okay. I'm going to click apply. And now you see that outline is back there. Okay. That's how it got there. All right. See it? See it back there? You like the blue, Miss C? Yeah, I, I didn't want it for this. Okay? All right. Now, I really don't need that. Uh, I really don't need this to be. I really don't need this to be. A, somebody, that, that movie is brutal. But I really don't need this to be filled in because it really just needs to be an outline. So let me see if I can just do a stamp key. Let me just see. And if it works, I'll tell you what I did. If it doesn't, I won't. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, it did. I wanted to be an outline like that. Okay. I think this, I think it looks good. I think it looks really, really good. You think the outline completes it? Okay, you didn't get a notification, Lisa. I'm sorry. 
All right. So I think this is good. I'm I'm happy with this. Okay. It doesn't look like it's lined up that good, but let me see. Align center. Okay, that's good right there. And then with both of them selected, I don't want to group them. Let me see what happens. Let me try to click send design. Okay, let me make sure it's going to work. Let me click send design. So one thing I did not address, and I and whew, let me see how I can explain this. Right here on my artboard cutting mat. See where I am right here on the right artboard cutting mat. Artboard cutting mat. Let me see how I can make that bigger. Oh no, that won't do it. That, it there's no way for me to just do it. But okay, artboard and cutting mat. Right here, if I click this drop down. One thing, another thing that I love about Leonardo Design Studio and Cesar Romeo is that I can print whatever size my, my printer will take, right? I'm not using a Cricut. This, this is not a Cricut. This is a Cesar Romeo. Right here, it automatically defaults to how did you change it from filled letters? What part are you talking about, Gina? Let me explain this so I don't lose my train of thought. Now I'll come back to this question right here. Okay, I'm, I'm going to come back to that. Thank you, Missy. Right here, one thing I love about Leonardo Design Studio and uh, Caesar Romeo is that if my printer will print 30 by 30, I can just change, <clears throat> I can just change this to my printer size. So since my printer will go up to eight and a half by 14, I can just change my paper size to eight and a half by 14. And that will, they, that'll change the size of the mat. If I'm using my big Epson printer that prints 13 by 19, I can change this to 13 by 19 because no matter what size, whatever size my printer will print, Leonardo Design Studio and Caesar will comply with that. I love that. I love that. Okay, so right here, I'm choosing eight and a half by 14. That's my paper size. But if I click right here on this little printer icon, I can see that, you know, I can change my paper to portrait or landscape. Um, I can go in here and make all the changes to my printer settings. OK, I love that. All right. So I'm going to click OK. And you can see that my paper size is, look, it's at 14. It's at 11 by 14. I mean, eight and a half by 14. You love that too, Dolores? No, she not, she's not going to have to start the video to see that. I'm going to show that again. I'm going to show that again. Okay. All right. So I'm still within the allowable size and this looks good. Now, Gina's question is, how did I change it from filled letters? I want to show you that part again, because you probably are not the only one who had that question. And I did say if it worked, I would show it again. Okay. So let me show you again. Good question, Gina. Thank you for asking that. All right, I'm just going to go back. I'm just going to click the back arrow. All right, so at first, this is what I had, right? Rhonda, um, you won't regret it. At first, this is what I had. This I'm at the point now where I did not have an outline. I don't have an Epson F570. Um, I did not have an outline, right? And what I said was on my shirt and on the shirts that I've done before, I, I have an outline and I was going to show you how I did it. So what I did down here is I clicked on the photo and I went to build contours. I clicked on build contours. I selected editable contour 
and I include the holes because remember, if I don't include the holes, the O will be filled in in the middle. So I'm gonna include the holes and you can change the color of the contour. You can change it to whatever you wanna change it to, right? And I just said, I was gonna keep mine on black and I increased the offset. So I said, you know, an offset of, I think 35 was good. Um, I even like the offset of 39. Let's go with 39 for this, okay? So, and then I'm gonna click apply. Now, what you'll notice, if I don't do anything to it right here, behind this, there's a black layer and it's filled in, but I don't need it to be filled in because really this is just an offset, right? It's basically an offset. This is where I said, if it works, I'll show you again. Okay, so right here, I'm gonna bring this back up here on top. And what I did was I selected both layers, the top, which is the photo, and the back, which is the that back layer, right? Which is basically an offset. And I selected the option down here under build contours, I mean, under um, weld, and I went to the third option and this is not on your paper, so you might want to write it down. I went to stamp keep. With both layers selected, go to stamp keep. And that will change this from being a filled in layer. Let me show you. To just having an outline layer. Stamp keep. Thank you, LaShonda. Juliet is good too. Juliet is going to do all this same stuff. Okay. All right. Gina, did that help? Okay, good. All right. So we're good. Now you only need to know that part. If you want to have the outline, you don't, if you're not going to do the outline, don't worry about it. Okay. And if you're in, you know, if you're in Cricut Design Space, you just do an offset. Okay. All right. So I'm going to select all of this and make sure it's, um, centered so it's not looking all crazy and i'll move it over here to my um allowable space all right and now with this you don't need a bigger printer i'm using this from my regular epson eco tank 2760 series printer i'm not using my wide format printer for this i'm just using okay all right Okay, I'm not using my wide format printer for this. All right, so I'm I'm pretty much good to go. All right, so I'm gonna select both, and I think it's group that I need to do, but I'm not. Let me see. Let me see what will happen. Let me just group it and see what happens. Let me see. Let me see what happens if I click send. Let me see send. No, that's not it. Hold on. They just don't care. No, that's not Patrice. I'm confused. Hold on. I'm thinking if I No, that's not what I wanted to do. Hold on. The shape, I want this to, hold on y'all. I want all of this to be together as is Patrice Liz Patrice on this right here since I want the outline to be a part of this and flatten is not the option I'm sorry don't yeah go by Juliet. Um, what's my option? Am I combining the paths?
I want the two two to be together. Let me mute myself while I drink this. Eating ice so you can't hear it. It's group. Sorry. I thought when I tried group, it didn't work. Okay, sorry. Okay, so once you have it the way you want it and it's centered in the middle of the um, outline, yes, group it. All right, so now right here, over here where it says um, select printer, um, I'm using my Epson EcoTank 2760. I do have it on mirror. So since I have it on mirror here, I'm not going to mirror in the printer settings because then it would just like cancel each other out. All right. All right. So I'm going to click send to printer. I'm going to select my um, printer properties. I'm using eight and a half by 14 paper because this is quite big. It's 10.8 by something. I can't see it really good, but I'm using eight and a half by 14 paper that I showed you eight and a half by 14 a sub sublimation paper and i'm not going to mirror this okay i'm going to click okay and i do have my print preview set already so i'm going to double check myself before i print this and waste any paper i want to click okay and it's going to print just like that now i don't have any paper in my printer i don't ever keep paper in my printer I'm going to go put the paper in the printer and I'm going to turn this heat press on. And while that's printing, we're going to update that list. Patrice, you're not fired. You can keep your job. Patrice is not fire. Patrice is not fire. Yes. That, yes. Okay, let me stop sharing for a second. All right, so right here in between number 10 and number 11, no, between number 11 and number 12, add a note that says, um, select both layers and do a stamp keep. So like in between number 11 and number 12, select both layers and do a stamp keep. That's going to give you the outline instead of that full background layer. Okay, add that. And then also add group and then click send design. Hey, Twyla. Okay. If I was a pen, if I was a pen, where would I be? If I was a pin, where would I be? Select photo, intersect. I did that. Select, okay. So for like, I guess it's like 11A. Um, stamp keep. And then 11B would be group and click send design. So I would just do 11A, add a stamp, keep 11B. You're going to group it and then click send design.
I don't I use Canva for different things, Regina. I don't use Canva. I don't craft in Canva. I don't I don't craft there. Some people do. I only use it. I really just use Canva for um I created a um like documents I'll create in Canva. I'll create thumbnails in Canva. Um I created a t-shirt order form in Canva. That's it. I don't really I don't do any other kind of creating in Canva. All right, I'm bringing my table up. You do, Judy? I don't. But it has a lot of nice features. It really does have a lot of nice features. Um, but I really just use it for thumbnails mostly. All right, I'm bringing the table up so we can look at Romeo. Big Daddy. Okay, so the image is printing out. And it's looking really, really good. It's looking really, really good. I'm not even gonna lie. It's looking really, really good. I have my heat press heating up to, really it should be heating up to 400. Okay. Set the in. Okay. All right, y'all doing y'all are doing great. You just can't do your logo. You already know my logo story. <laughs> you already know my logo story. Hey, Debra. Yeah. Really, really good. It's going to look really, really good. Leonardo Design Studio. You really just have to go to the Caesar website. Is it Jana or Janae? I know a girl who spells her name exactly like that, but her name is Janae. And I always just wanted to pay the $200 at the E at the end. I want to go down to the courthouse and just get that handled. But <laughs> how do you offer that? You pay the 200 and get your E added to the end. Uh-uh. <laughs> I also want to pay 200 and have Hippo take one of those O's off, but it's probably too late. Okay. But don't worry about me, because I'm crazy like that. I'm crazy like that. <laughs> All right, here's the image. Here's the image. Okay. And um, if y'all were not on here, what I would do, I'm just telling you what I would do, is is Janae or okay. I um I would put this on my heat press and I would just let it. Milo, you want to say hi again? I would let me bring this down so y'all can see it. I would let it sit there on my heat press for like I don't know a minute or so. I always do that. I always let the printed image sit on my heat press. That's just my way of like drying the ink. That's what I do all the time. Now let me also say. Your Romeo 
and any other cutter that you might be using doesn't have to cut out your sublimation. That's going on white fabric. I really don't need my Romeo to cut that, right? I can just cut the registration lines off and just press it on my shirt, right? Y'all understand what I'm saying? So let's see what it says right here. See right here. Yeah, so number 15. Well, we did number 14, set your printer preferences, cut the registration lines away from the image, power on the heat source to 400 degrees. I, I should be checking this off. All right? So I've done that. I cut, I can, I'm just going to cut the, I can rip it, right? Power on the heat source. I've done that. Lint roll the fabric and pre-press it for five to 10 seconds. Now, I didn't say this on the list. Because everybody doesn't do this and everybody doesn't agree with this. And I don't have time for drama. <laughs> like, Lana, why did you do? Because I wanted to. <laughs> I wanted to. You don't have to do it, but that's what I do. Okay. So you don't have to do this, but I do it every time. All right. So that's what I do. All right. So let's do the other part. Did y'all tell me if it was Je Jana or Janae? Jana or Janae? Which one is it? Oh, she didn't tell me. Okay, maybe she didn't like that. Sorry, but no, no offense. <laughs> no offense. Whenever somebody says no offense, it's about to get offensive in that thing. Okay, so here's the shirt. I'm taking out of this package. and um i like the the cricket men's shirts this is actually a cricket men's shirt that i'm wearing um because when i do wear polyester um it does these i found are thicker than most polyester shirts and i like the quality of it I like the men's shirt because it has the crew neck because I don't really like like a t-shirt v-neck. I just don't. Who does? All right. All right. So here's the shirt. And what does it say I would do? I was going to lint roll it. So you want to lint roll before you um, heat it. Okay. Lint roll it before you heat it. Marlo, you want to say hi to the people? Come on, say hi to the people. He gets so excited about it, but then he won't look at the camera. Come on, say hi. Come on, say hi to the people. You want to say hi to the people? You don't want to? Yes. Say hi to the people. You want to say hi to the people? You told them you've been chewing up the trash, or you don't want me to tell them that part? There's a secret? Okay, you don't want anybody to know that? That's personal business? Okay. I'm not going to tell y'all he's been chewing up the trash. Let me go make sure this door is closed because he's been chewing up the trash. Go. All right, let me bring you over here so y'all can see this part better. Okay, I'm gonna bring you over here so you can. In the trash. <laughs> no ma'am, no ham, no burger. My lord, you didn't want me to tell me you've been showing up the trash? Is it a secret? Okay, I won't tell anybody else. Just told them, okay? And they're not gonna tell anybody. They said that. They said, I'm not gonna tell anybody else that you've been chewing up the trash, okay? They promised. They said that. Okay, all right. Don't chew up the trash, and we won't tell anybody else. It'll be a secret. It'll be a little secret, my love. Let's move this over. And let them see what we're doing the heat press. 
Let's see if we can see that. They're not gonna tell anybody. <laughs> okay, so here we are. Thank you, press. So I'm gonna lint roll this first. I can see that. Can't see me, Chanel. I'm right here. Hey, Chanel. Hey. Okay. Using my big lint roller that my husband bought me because he's just so good. Just like that. Lint roll. I'm not good at lint rolling, but hopefully it goes well. The heat press is set to 400 degrees. No, Milo, no, 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 no. I suggest lint rolling everywhere, even on the places where you know you're not going to um, be like putting anything because those blue fibers just do the most. All right. All right, like that, okay. So now I'm going to pre-press this just for about five to 10 seconds. Ugh. You being good? You being bad? You say that to the people? Okay, so here's the shirt. Now with sublimation, I'm going to put butcher paper inside the shirt. Let me see what number that is on the list. Where's my list? Where's my list? Oh, here. Let's see. So I lint rolled it. That was number 17. Number 18 is place butcher paper inside the shirt to protect the ink from going all the way through. So we're on number 18. Look at us being on number 18. We're on number 18. Let's see. Oh, this one I used earlier today. Mm -hmm. Here's my big roll of butcher paper from Sam's Club. Gonna fold it and put it inside the shirt. Like that. We're good so far. Did I miss anything? Yes, yes, okay. All right, so now what I'm going to do is tear off those registration lines. And I think that's number, oh, I already did number 15. I already said it was number 15, but I'm gonna like just tear these lines off because I don't need this. And I didn't really need my Romeo to cut this because I'm, this is white and this is white. So I'm just going to tear this. See, I'm just tearing it, just tearing the, tearing the paper. That's why you don't have to be limited to Cricut, y'all, and Cricut Design Space, because especially for sublimation, you don't need your Cricut to cut it. If you're sublimating on white, you don't you don't need your Cricut to cut it. Okay, so here's this, right? We still together? We still together? We still together? Yes. Okay. So now I'm just gonna place this down. Um, I don't want to come down too far. I typically do like three fingers from the collar. Uh, sometimes it's more not intentionally, but I, I don't like it to be too far down um, like that. And then I'm going to get some tape and then just tape it down. And I don't use a lot of tape because I feel like the heat press will hold it in place for me. And I don't really... Yeah. Like that. 
And now I'm going to put butcher paper on top of this. The butcher paper that's in the middle protects the ink from going all the way through the shirt. The butcher paper that I'm going to put on top protects ink from getting on my heat press so that once I press another thing, I won't have this image on, on my heat press. Okay. All right. So I'm going to tear another piece of butcher paper. Just like that and just put it on top and we'll press this for 60 seconds. He is dead. Okay. 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 You already know him, say I look. <laughs> and I'm left. Um if you are wondering why I don't use Teflon or why I'm not using parchment paper, I don't use Teflon or parchment paper during sublimation. Um, I, I only use parchment paper like you saw me using parchment paper yesterday. Like if you were with me yesterday, I was using parchment paper and I was using that in between the layers of vinyl. And somebody said, well, I didn't know it helped. It stops from shrinking. It does. It does help with that. So I use parchment paper in between the layers of vinyl and I'll use it with um, um, my DTF transfers, like as a last, like that's what like seals the deal with my DTF transfers. Okay. And Teflon, um, if I'm just pressing one layer, I'll use it, but I don't use it very often. I don't think I use it that much. And I use it with my DTF transfers if it's required. All right, y'all ready to see? Y'all ready to see? Y'all ready to see it? Are you ready to see it? So you can see that there's no ink behind my shirt, right? Okay, are we good? I think if there was a medium, this one's a large. This one? Y'all ready? Okay, I'm gonna read that question in a minute. So I'm going to just get that middle butcher paper out of there because I don't really need that. But you can see it, right? You can see the image already through there. <laughs> Baby. Look at that. Is it? See that? That's it. That's it. Okay, so that's just regular sublimation, right? And with sublimation, you know, the ink is in the fabric, right? So if I stretch this, you see that, see how the ink is in there? It's not on the fabric, it's in there. See how the fibers of the fabric, see my husband's face, the, the ink is in there, right? And it's good, thank you. And that's it. Okay, so I'm, I have saw a question up there. I'm gonna bring bring y'all back over there. I'm turning the camera off so you don't get dizzy while I'm walking from one place to another. All right. Be thinking of your question, but I did see one about my shirt, the shirt size or something like that. Something about the shirt. Y'all, it's a mess. This is a mess. Let's see how I can get this under here. Under here. Oh, don't fall light. Okay. All right. Let's come back. It looks really, really good. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right, let me see what that question was. <sighs> Oh, kids. Isn't your heat press silver cover a non-stick high temperature resistant? Yes. Yes, it is. Kawanda, that's so sweet. I was trying to get personal. Let's see. Let's see what she said. I was trying to get really interested in the medium. This one's a large. Yes. Yes, baby jean. So whatever size you normally wear, you definitely want to go up with cricket shirts because they are bigger. I mean, they are smaller. They run smaller. Now, I think, I don't know what size this one is. 
I don't have to ask my kids or my husband. But yeah, if you typically wear a medium, then you're going to get one size up. This one is a medium. And I think the one I have on is a medium, I think. All right. Good question, though. All right. How y'all feel? Now, I feel like that list um, had it needed some editing to it. OK, I think it needed some editing to it. And you can the good thing about it is you can edit it the way you need to. Right. And with the other list, the one that's blank. Remember, I said if we had time, we could um, I could demonstrate how to use the Caesar Easy Subly because I don't use the Caesar Easy Subly the way that it was intended. Um, and I'll tell you why. And then y'all can say, you know, whether you want to do it or not. OK, and I won't, I'll be OK either way. All right. Um, thank you, Judy. Caesar Easy Subly is intended to be used with um, sawgrass printers. It really is. It's intended to be used like with true, like true, you know, sawgrass printers. And I don't have one. I have an Epson 15,000 that I put sublimation ink inside. And I have an Epson EcoTank 2760 that I also put sublimation ink inside. Um, and, and I'm just telling you the truth. I know a lot of people who have uh, sawgrass printers who also have Epsons and they use the Epson more than the sawgrass for a lot of reasons. They, you know, the ink is cheaper and they feel like they still good, get nice, vibrant images. I'm just telling you. OK, so I don't use the easy subly. I don't print on the easy subly. I use that as my background layer. And the good thing about it is you don't have to have an offset. You can just use it as like a like a base layer. OK. All right. Thank you, Linda. All right. So do you want me to demonstrate that or are we good? Y'all feel good about it? Like with the easy subly, the benefit of it, let me also say this, is that you could do it on a black shirt. You could do it on a gray shirt. You could do it on a blue. You could do it on red. You could do it on whatever color you want. It doesn't have to be polyester. It can be 100% cotton. Um, he was, oh, okay, Denise, that's what it is. He was to take the trash out. Okay, well, we don't like it. <laughs> Denise, we don't love it. We don't. We good. We good without it. We good. <laughs> we are good without it, Denise. Okay. All right, so I will demonstrate the, the easy subway. Now, remember, I didn't make a list. I gave you a blank list so you can write down what I did, okay? Because you can put that in your what? Craft journal? Uh, no. With the easy subway, oh, you're talking about with Cricut? I did do it with a Cricut a long time ago. I didn't do it like this. Um, with the Romeo, I did it with the shirt that I made for my husband for Thanksgiving, that big turkey, big turkey. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, they are having a really good sale on Leonardo on the software. Let me throw this away and then we'll do it, okay? Let me get a, a dark shirt. Let me get a dark shirt or a dark. Let's do a hoodie. Let's go a hoodie. Let's go a hoodie. Let's go a hoodie. And if you don't feel like you need this part, Yeah, the turkey. There was the, that turkey was beefy, honey. Beefy and strong. <laughs> you got a strong back. <laughs> this is so cute. This is so cute. I'm feeling it. I think I'm gonna do it on this. I'm gonna do that on this. I have not experienced that, Lisa. Has anyone experienced the Leonardo software not opening because it will not see? Is it connected to your Wi-Fi? 
Has anyone else experienced that? What Lisa is saying? Is it not connected to your? I have not experienced that. But mine is mine is not connected by USB. Mine is connected by Wi-Fi. I don't mine is connected by my um Wi-Fi. So because I want to be able to move it around. I don't want to just keep it in one place. Yeah, not what not Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. Yeah, Bluetooth. Sorry. Okay, so let's go back into Leonardo Design Studio. All right, I'm going back to design. All right, want to just use this image or you want to do like something from Creative Fabrica? Um, I think y'all understand this process already, right? You understand this. Do you want to do an image like, like a PNG file from Creative Fabrica? They have really good customer service. Like they actually answer the phone. <laughs> it's so good. Like they answer. I'm like, hello. Like <laughs> I wasn't expecting them to answer. <laughs> they really did. <laughs> okay, I'll do one from Creative. <laughs> they, they. I was so shocked. <laughs> All right, let's do a file from Creative Fabric. I'll do that. Um, I will do. I will do the uh, Valentine's Day one that I just did with the DTF. Can't connect to printer. Oh, that's weird. Maybe, maybe delete the software and reinstall it. That's what I would try to do. Yeah, they, that's not them. They are so good. I, I'm telling you, I was impressed with the, the, the customer service. Accept the license. Yeah, that could be it too, that you couldn't, it, it didn't accept the license. Okay, so I'm back in Leonardo Design Studio. I'm just on a different tab and I'm going to go to open and I'm going to go to my documents. I save my files according to where I purchased them. So like anything that I've downloaded from Creative Fabrica, I save it in a Creative Fabrica folder. Anything I've downloaded from Design Bundles, I save it in a Design Bundles folder. And I always just name it whatever the name of it was, okay? So do y'all need to see that part or you know how to do that part? Thank you, Corn. So like all of my Creative Fabrica, um, Creative Fabrica files, where's the best place to get shirts? A lot of people say Jiffy. But I, I mean, I guess if you're getting them in bulk, I, I, I just buy them locally most of the time. Tam, Jack. All right, I'm going to create a Fabrica and, I'm, and that file, the bundle that I'm using is linked below this video. And it's called the Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day Coffee Bundle. And I'm just going to use this little image right here. I think this one is cute. I like that one too, but I'm gonna use this one right here. I'm gonna click open. And this time, instead of bringing this in as a background image, because I'm not trying to change it to letters, I'm going to use it in this shape that it's already in. I'm going to just bring it in as a print and cut. Okay, so I'm going to click next. So y'all should be writing this down on your list. Download the file, upload the file, bring it in as a print and cut. Okay, bring it in as a print and cut. I want to click next right here. I'm not going to change anything because I don't know enough. I don't know enough about what all I'm just telling you the truth. I, I'm telling you the truth. I don't know enough. Now at this point, if you haven't liked the video, please take care of that. In order to like the video, you have to click out of the live chat, like the video and then come back to the live chat. You won't miss anything. You will not miss a thing. You'll still be able to hear me and see me. You just, you won't miss anything. Okay. So if you haven't liked it, go ahead and like it. That'll be great. Okay. So I'm going to click next. I'm not making any changes. It's going to smooth it and do all that. I'm not 
going to do anything to it. I'm just click next. And then right here, I'm just click finished. Okay. I'm click finish. All right. So now the image is in here and this paper is still set to eight and a half by 14 because that's what it was already on. LaShonda, the likes of matching? That's a first time in history for it. Oh, Regina. I wish I would have told you beforehand. Okay, but, okay. Um, the paper size is still eight and a half by 14, which is, it's fine. I'm still going to use that size. And I know how big I can go with this, right? I can just, I'm just going to be like, I can go as big as I want to because Leonardo won't limit me the way Cricket would. No shade to Cricket if y'all are watching in the bushes, okay? No shade, but y'all need to up that, okay? So this is like 10 and a half. Uh, let's go to 10.8. 10.8 is fair. Okay, 10.8 is a fair size. I think this is really, really good, right? Okay, so now because i'm not using the easy subly the way that is intended to be used like it's intended to be sent through your printer but you know some of you know that if you try to send easy subly through your printer the ink will never dry like we can come back in 2040 and the ink will still be wet and you know i'm not lying i don't care how long you let it sit under the heat press or whatever it's just gonna it's gonna take forever okay so i'm gonna keep it like this but I'm going down here to the uh, build contours, right? Because I still want that. I need that background layer. So I'm going to click right here on build contours. I'm going to go to editable contour. And I'm not going to offset it at all. Hope you're right, Milo. Y'all, he's trying to dig in the trash. We're not digging in the trash. Somebody says you were helping us take the trash out. and We don't like it. No offset no no offset okay Sharon that's great okay so right here I'm just going to click apply and what it did is it created um an image behind this that's just um that's what's going to represent my easy subly so see that this right here is just going to represent my easy subly this is Oh, Virginia, you might be behind on the chat. Okay, so that's what this is. Okay. Okay, LaShonda, if one person got it, I'm gonna keep going. All right, so this is my, basically just an easy subly layer. All right, and so nothing else is behind here. This is good to go. This is going to be set at, um, this should be print and cut. All right, so I'm going to, Click send design. I'm going to click send again. Let's see. All right. So this is going to do a print and cut, right? So this is going to send to my printer and it's going to cut it. <clears throat> Write this down. Mirror the design. So here I'm going to mirror this. I'm going to mirror this. Okay mirror the design so let me go ahead and send this to my printer all right i'm using my epson eco tank 2760 i'm going to click properties i'm not going to mirror in my printer settings because if i mirror here and i mirror in leonardo they will cancel each other out okay so i'm not going to do that i'm going to click okay I'm, it's in landscape i'm going to do a print preview we'll click okay this is what it should look like. Okay, so now I'm going to go put, I should have put two in there earlier, but I didn't. So I'm going to put a piece of paper in there. Eight and a half by 14. It's eight and a half by 14. I'll put this in the um, printer. Before I go put this in the printer, I'm going to change my heat press settings to 311 degrees because the easy subly is pressed at 311 degrees for 15 seconds. So I'm going to change this so my temperature can start decreasing.
Okay, now I'm going to put this in the printer. Ta -ta -ta. My stomach is in my back. My stomach is in my back. My stomach is in my back. My, is in my, back. my Lord, is my stomach in my back? Sure is. <laughs> your stomach is in your back? Sure is. Okay, I'm gonna stop sharing this right now. Stomach is in my back. I'm sorry, Vicky. I'm sorry. Yeah, this one is this is not beginner, I guess. My love, no. No. He keeps trying to dig in the trash. I'm sorry. This. Yes, LaShonda. I don't know how to make it easier, but I did provide the list so you can write down what I'm doing. Okay, bow-legged biscuits. That must be a country slang thing. I don't know what that is, <laughs> but it's good. It sounds good. Um, I don't know how to easy it up or, you know, I kind of want you to write it down for yourself. Oh, mine is too, Regina. It's right there in the corner. I, when I try to tell people, it's so weird. Like, I feel like when I try to tell people about that printer, like, oh, you know, like you might not want to get a, a workforce printer. They get real angry. So I just stopped telling people not to do it. Because I think it's better if you kind of learn it the hard way okay LaShonda I hope that works thank you Vicky yeah even in my Facebook group like I've said like I don't suggest you get a workforce and people are like well I'm going to try because I think it's going to be great do it <laughs> do it because in the end you got to do what's going to work best for you anyway right and i was coming from a place of love i was coming from a place of love i wish you know i knew how to get the ink out because i do think it's a good printer for regular printing just not sublimation it just i just i know that like I, there is a, I know for a fact that somebody lives in that printer and I just wish I could claim them on my taxes. Just wish I could just add that one extra, but I don't know their name. I don't know their social security number. It's just a struggle. It's a little guy in there, Gina. That's who's drinking the ink. <laughs> and I need that one extra deduction. Can you do the DTF hack with the... I did, Bunny. I have a video on it. They do, Sheila. They do. It, it's somebody in there. And they're very little, they just like drink that ink. Can you send it to your printer in landscape? Yes, it went to my printer in landscape. Mm -hmm. But I know for sure there's somebody in there. If I could just get their information. Sometimes I use mine, Kawanda. I use mine. I just don't use it very often. Sometimes I use it though. Okay, it's, it's, not, it's still printing. So hopefully y'all have, have written down 
um, that you're going to use easy subly. I, the size that I'm using is And I just have it in this bag because I bought this from I bought this one from Atlanta Vinyl, and the size of this is 11 by like 16 and a half. So it's the longer, it's the long, long sheets, and it comes like this. Like it doesn't come in a um, in packaging. So on the bag, I just wrote down that it was easy subly i just wrote it with a marker so i would know what it was okay um so you're gonna need easy subly you're gonna need fabric whatever you know fabric and it doesn't have to be white it doesn't have to be polyester it can be any color that's the beauty of easy subly but everything else you're gonna need everything else that you needed from the first list really Yeah, I um <laughs> I wonder when I got that easy press, you couldn't tell me nothing. You understand me? <laughs> I was so excited. I was like, no, I got me a heat press. I was so excited about that. I didn't have a channel yet, but I was excited about it. So with the easy subway, you're still going to need sublimation ink. You're still going to need, you know, sublimation paper. You're going to need sublimation printer. You're still going to need a heat press. Um, you're going to need all the other stuff. The only difference is, okay, ZGM, I, I'm not, I'm printing on sublimation paper right now. And I'm going to use this as my, like a uh, layer that I'm going to press on. Okay. So I'm going to let my Romeo cut that. So, because it's still what? Romeo Wednesday? It's still Romeo Wednesday. So, here's the image. So, this is what it looks like. I use the Romeo for the software, Martin, and that's not a stupid question at all. So I used it for the software, but now I'm actually getting ready to use it to cut. It's getting ready to cut, cut, okay? All right, so here's the printed image. Now I'm going to place this on a mat and I'm gonna let my Romeo cut this, okay? If I was a mat, where would I be? I sent Madison to the store so I didn't have to go. Because I ain't got time for that. And I don't have self-control. I don't have self-control. So I'm going to use a Caesar mat. Look at this mat looking all new and good and good and new. This is a 12 by 24 Caesar mat. It's really, really good. Okay. All right, let me bring the table up. Ooh, fancy, Linda, fancy. All right, I'm gonna come around to the other side of the table so I can show you like how you need to place your images on the um, mat. It can be, I would say it can be expensive, Kawanda, depending on how many sheets and all that stuff. Let me come around the other side. Let's see. Mm. 
So I'm just going to make my image match on the mat the same way I would if I was in, you know, Cricut Design Space. Maybe I need to rotate it. Hold on. Let me rotate it on the mat so it's not hanging off the mat. I wonder if it'll let me do that. Let's go to cutting mat. And now I'm going to rotate it. Mm. Now let me do that. It's going to be like hanging off the mat. It's going to be hanging off the mat, and I don't want it to do that. That's not good. Oh, maybe it'll let me do this one. Let me see. No. Won't let me do it. It's gonna be it's gonna be hanging off the mat. I don't know what kind of movie they're watching, I'm sorry. You have to put it on the mat just like that. Oh, let me stop sharing so y'all can see. See what I'm doing? Bonsoir, vous allez bien? <laughs> that was me speaking another language. I don't know, but I, it sounded good. Bonsoir, that sounds friendly. So I just put it on the mat like this. It won't let me, it won't let me turn it or move it. So I'm just put it on just like this. I think I'll be okay. Cause I'm still on the, it's still on the mat. It won't, it wouldn't even let me turn it. You know what? Maybe I should have turned it in Leonardo Design Studio. But I think whatever you're saying is so good. Do y'all know that y'all can watch my video in any language? Like if you go to the settings, I think you should be able to watch it in whatever language you need. You can change the mat size. I did. I changed the mat size to 12 by 24, but it still would not let me move it. I'm going to just, we're going to just try it. I'm going to have to do an area test. All right, so I'm going to stick this in the Romeo. like this and I'm going to um, close that. Let me, let me turn the camera off for one second so I can go to the other side and not scare you. All right. Okay, I'm over here now. <laughs> I'm gonna close this, these clamps. And what I'm gonna do, let me see if I can bring this closer so you can see it. See with this blade, I'm making sure the blade is right above that triangle. There's a little triangle on the paper right there. I want to make sure my blade is like right there in the same little box as that triangle. Okay, it's just as long as it's in that box. And what's going to happen over here, if you're going to like, if you can see, let's see if you can see over here, the sensors are going to try to read the registration lines to make sure i'm within the range so you'll see like the cross red crosshairs come up over here and we'll see if it's good to go hopefully it is i like the area test too all right hopefully hopefully it's good i'm gonna click send and we're gonna see So you see right here, it's looking at the 
looking for the registration marks. They should be on the four corners right there. And I was gonna cut it. Okay, so now I'm going to check it. So it should be, it should be perfect. Happy New Year. See that? Okay, so now I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna get the easy subly cut out. Now with the easy subly, I'm not going to mirror. So I'm gonna do my best to peel this away without ripping it. If you have an image that's not one solid image and there are multiple pieces, you will need the easy subly mask um, since this is just one thing, I don't need the mask. So this is the image. I'm going to get the easy subly cut out now, and I'm not going to mirror the easy subly. So I'm gonna put the easy subly on the on the mat. Well, I better put it this way so it could be enough space to cut. It's kind of crooked. Oh wait. Oh, let me say this. With the easy subly, there are two sides, like everything, right? There's a side that feels rough. You hear that? And then there's a side that's like shiny. I'm going to put this on the mat with the shiny side down. Shiny side down on the mat. Shiny side down on the mat. The rough side is what's going to be cut. The rough side is cut. So this is just hanging off because it's big. <laughs> okay. Now it doesn't matter. The blade placement and all of that is not going to be that important for this. All right. Let me go back into Leonardo and I'm, let me show you what I'm doing. Let me, um, uh, what am I missing? Oh, Sheila, thank you so much. Cause I don't know. Is being said, I don't know what is being said. All right, so this is the part I just did, right? Now I'm going to use this. This was my background layer, and I just want this to be cut. So I'm going to move this over and out of the way, put this up here, and I'm not going to mirror this, right? This part is not Milo. Where are you going? I'm watching you, little sucker. I'm going right here, okay? And this should just be cut. All right, this is just going to be cut, not not a print and cut. It's just going to be cut. All right, so I should be fine right here. I'm going to click Send Design. 
That's what it's going to look like. I'm going to click send. All right. And I'm not going to mirror this. The, the easy subly is not mirrored. So I'm going to go ahead and click send to cutter. Uh, let me make sure. Send it. Can y'all see that? Okay, so I'm going to remove this. Oh, I should not have done that. I should have checked it to see if it cut all the way through, and I didn't. Be better than me. Oh, man. It cut, but I could have I could have increased the uh, force and the pressure. I should have checked that. And if once you move it, there's no way to go back to that exact spot. That's a beginner move I just made right there. I'm going to try to work with it. stop sharing so y'all can see Oh, it worked. I mean, I could have, I could have done a stronger, heavier cut setting. I feel like, but I mean, it worked for the most part. So here's the easy subly, and it's not mirrored. So now what I'm going to do is peel this from the backing. I'm going to put this on my hoodie. I'm going to move you over to the heat press. Okay. We're moving over to the heat press. And once I get to the heat press, I will check to see what comments and questions I've missed. Okay. Cause I haven't been doing a good job of that. Put me in coach. I'm ready to play today. Put me in coach. Marlo, you're being really, really good. You're being super, super good. Yes, you are. Today, once you stay out of the trash, if you stay out of the trash, you're doing great. If you go into the trash, you're not doing great. Okay. Let's see. Hi. Okay, let's see what I missed. Kinda yes, but you don't need the offset. Easy sublim act like vinyl. Yes, it's like a sublimation. I would call it like sublimation paper. Um, the thing about it, the the good thing about the I don't know what right here. The good thing about the easy subly is that you don't need an offset. And I feel like with a lot of that other stuff, um, those to me are like hacks, and you need an offset. With the easy subly, you see, I made my offset zero. Y'all want my lips to be chapped, don't you? You don't care about me. Milo, they don't love me. Because if they did, they would say put on some Carmex. They didn't. 
They don't love me. They only love themselves. Mm -hmm. That's why you're showing your teeth? Okay. Cool. I like it. Go, go teeth. Go teeth. Go teeth. All right. Let me see. I want to peel this away from the backing. You do, Donzel. Oh, my creation. How, are you in, in France? Okay, so I'm going to peel this away from the backing. Well, before I do that, let me not do that. Let me pre-press this hoodie. So this hoodie is... You do, Carol? Okay. This hoodie is heavy blend, so it's 50% cotton, 50% polyester all right and pull this out the heat press is set to 311 degrees because that's the temperature that's required for easy subway y'all see that heat press i'm just going to pre-press this hoodie right you pre-press everything no matter what it is i'm not going to lint roll but you can okay pre-press doing heavy. I don't see why not. Um, just do five to 10 seconds, whatever you want to do. You want to say hi to the people. All right. So it's good. Now I'm going to remove it from the back. I'm gonna take this off carefully and try not to rip it. I would say do some wash tests first. That's my opinion. Do some wash tests first. So I'm just taking this off without um, ripping it. Okay. And I'm going to put this on the fabric. Move it up a little bit. Can not see that? I think this is going to look great. Okay, it's good. I think it's good like that. All right. So now I'm going to press this on uh, 311 degrees for 15 seconds. I'm not putting anything on top. Put me in coverage. Then I have my image. Okay, it's pressed. It's on here. Let me let you see it. Now, write this down. I'm going to increase the temperature of my heat press to 385 for 45 seconds. So I'm going to go to my settings. I'm going to go up to 385. Forty-five seconds. Okay, so here's the um, hoodie. This is just the layer of Easy Subly. Okay, it's just Easy Subly, nothing else. And what I have to do now is take the image down to the Easy Subly. Now remember this was mirrored and now you see why it was mirrored because I'm putting it face down on top of the easy subly and I'm going to use my heat resistant tape to line, you know, to tape it down. So, you know, you're going to do your best to line it up. Roll a roll a good. 
like that. Oh, that's looking really, really good. Now, I was quite impressed with the, the cuts on that Romeo. The Romeo did what it was supposed to do with the cuts. Yeah. Thank y'all for being here with me and hanging out with me. And I hope that you are finding this, um, information valuable and helpful and that um you are inspired to try it and not feel afraid remember even if you make a mistake you're going to learn something right so don't be afraid to make a mistake i make mistakes y'all know i make mistakes all the time So my heat press is still heating up. I'm just putting enough tape down so I can make sure it's good, real or real or good. Milo, you licking your undesirables. Okay. Gotta be over there licking your undesirables. All right, so I have it taped down. And what I'm going to do is add butcher paper to the top of this to protect my heat press from getting any ink on it. Okay. Your cricket is collecting dust. I still use my cricket, y'all. Well, you know, I still use it. Partly because I have to. <laughs> okay, Kawanda, why didn't you put anything on top of the easy subject when you pressed it? Because you already have a yeah, and it, it's not required by the the instructions on the easy subject. Thank you, Bonnie. I want to say hi to the people. I want to say hi to the people. Oh, Milo just turned the light off. He just turned the heat press off too. Milo, we're not turning off heat presses by stepping on the power cord. Say hi to the people. <laughs> Tell them what you just did. Tell them you stepped on the cord. You don't want to tell them you stepped on the cord? It's a secret. Don't tell anybody else you did that. This TV is making noises. Yes, yeah, making so many noises. It's making super, super noises. Okay, I'm still waiting for it to heat up. It's on 360. He is. Tanisha, now we didn't you didn't have to include the word good trouble. Did she press the easy subway on the smooth side? I pressed it on the, the rough side. I cut it face up and the side that I pressed was the rough side. Okay, Paul. Everybody speaking another language. Do I need to change my language? <laughs> Lana, you going to French. Going on to the French. I'm the only one speaking English in the chat. Okay. I'm, I'm down here because that's the only way I can see y'all. Rough side up. Yes. Rough side. That just made me think about a song. I'm coming up. Mm. On the rough side. Just think about the song. Of the mountain. Almost 10 more degrees. All right, Jay Parley. Francais Aussie. I don't know. It sounds great. I want to try the pug. Pug final? Okay. That's it. I am. The easy subly is 311 degrees for 15 seconds. All right, we're almost there. The word French is about to say, 
That's it. That's all I got. Spanish. Oh, look. Ocho. Thank you, Irma. Tres mini. Vocal it up. That's it. Hope y'all are writing it down. See how hard it is to write all that down? I'm doing my best to make you. All right. We're there. 385. I'm doing 385 for 45 seconds. Now I'm going to put butcher paper on top. I almost forgot because y'all over here speaking French and you threw me off. Butcher paper on top to protect my heat press. All right. Okay, crafty lady. It's called a top plate cover and it's linked below the video. She said my dog was cute. Oh, thank you. What word was dog in French? What word was dog? <laughs> 17, 17, I'm sorry. <laughs> 17 steps. Oh my gosh. Um, you can use the HTV Ront kind. Um, it's pretty much going to give you the same effect. However, with the HTV Ront, you have to have an offset. She and she and his dog. Okay, look at me learning French. Be like, no, no, <laughs> back up. I speak French. Okay, because I'm fancy like that. With the HTV Ront, you need, um, see, there's some, you can see it a little bit, the image. Um, with the HTV Ront sublimation paper, you need an offset. And with this, you don't. Okay, so that's, I'm too fancy to be, you know, consorting with you uh, uncivilized folks. Y'all don't need to speak French. Okay. So look, here's the, we're going to do what? Peel it and reveal it. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Oh, you. Isn't this good? Uh oh, I did not do a good job lining that up right there. I did not, that's me. That's not the stuff, it's me. I did not do a good job right there. But look, uh, it's on there. I did not do a good job over here lining it up. I should have done better, but you get it. Okay, and when you do yours, it's gonna be what? Great. Okay. I should have done a better job. Cause like his weight, like see it, it's like the empty the little pieces up here and it should have been down there. Okay. All right. So, but it's soft and let's see how it stretches. Cause some people will say, what, well, how does it stretch? Let's see. Let's see how it stretches. It stretches good. It washes. Now, I, I will tell you, Easy Subly washes very, very nicely. Um, the first image I ever used Easy Subly on, like, was three years ago, and it still looks exactly the same. And But I did it on white, but it looks good. It This washes very well. Okay. We don't stretch sweatshirts. Okay, I'm going back to the other side. If y'all want to go ahead and eat without me, you can. Wanches. I know Peter didn't. Uh, 
I'm telling them to go eat without me. They already did. There's some wenches. There's some wenches. That's what they are. Okay, hold on. One second, y'all. Just trying to move the camera back over to the table. I'm going and I'm getting ready to say bye right now and, and go eat. They already ate. Shoot. They don't love. They ain't got no love for me. They already ate. Okay. It was me, Brian. It was not the, it was me. I did not line it up good. I could have lined it up a lot better. Okay. Monique, they are terrible. They went to, she was like, I said, y'all can eat without me. We did. <laughs> we did. We ain't worried about you. But anyway, I could have lined it up a lot better. I could have done a better job. I mean, let me try it on. If you look at the cut paper, you'll see it. I'll see it. Okay, I'm going to go back. I'm always going to go back and look at it. Let me see how it's going to look if I put it on. See, I'll see if it's really good. Okay, hood. It looks really, really good. All right. I, I feel like I did not do a good job, Brian, but okay. All right. All right. <laughs> you like it? The black outline? Okay. It washes well, though. So it washes to me better than the, the HTV Ront stuff. The HTV Ront stuff is cheaper. Um, but this wash is better, um, and I don't use it to print, so I don't print on it. You saw I, y'all, I use it as a background layer, okay? So y'all got it. Y'all got all the steps. You can, hopefully you wrote it down your way, right? You wrote it down your way, however you, whatever you remember me doing. And you can go back and watch the video. Je vais dormir le fille, merci à vous. That was me speaking French. I think I sounded pretty good too. Okay. All right. I'm going to eat. Thank y'all for joining me. Thank y'all for being here. If you did not like the video, like if you're watching from your TV or you're in your car and you know, I'm going to go like it later, go like it now. Like I even noticed my son was watching the video the other day. He didn't like the video. Like son, why are you even watching if you're not liking? Cause we need likes and views. Okay. We need both. All right. So do that. Make sure you like the video. Um, thank y'all so much for being here. Say what I say about road rage, just don't engage in it. Just tell yourself they have to use the bathroom. You're in the way. You're not going to win anything for being first at the red light. So just don't even do it, okay? Just don't even involve yourself in that. Um, if you are in my Facebook group, and I'm just talking to my Facebook group, everybody else, earmuffs, and you're interested in trying to join the, the Zoom, if there are not already a certain, if we're not at the limit, then uh, you can send me, I don't know if I can, I don't want to say it. Just say it on the Facebook group. Just tell me in the Facebook group. Don't send me any messages. Don't email me about it. I'll figure it out and I'll see if I can invite more people. Okay. I don't want to have too many people at one time. I know my hair is flat. Y'all don't care about me, but it's okay. All right. Don't engage in road rage. Be kind to each other. And I will see y'all next time. Okay. Don't engage in road rage. Just don't even do it. Okay. Don't even do it. Okay. All right. Okay. And if nobody has told you they love you today, I love you. Everything you need is below the video. All the links are below the video. Don't write me a letter. I wonder. I think I sent you one. I think I invited you. Okay. All right. <laughs> bye, y'all. Milo, we said bye to the people already. Okay. <laughs>